Right then, I've had my breakfast. I'm staying at the Rock Hotel, <coughs> which is just down there with the partly thatched roof. They own another hotel apparently nearby as well. And uh, I've walked and zigzagged all up there, all round there yesterday, right round and climbed up to the Valley of the Rocks. Um, there's the, the railway that goes up the top there. If you don't want to walk up it, you can get that railway and it takes you right on the top. This is the promenade at um, Linmouth. Linton's over the, up the hill over that side. I'll be exploring that valley tomorrow and water me. I should be coming back down. Now I haven't packed my rucksack very well at the moment and it's filled with water so it's very heavy at the start of the walk. But I reckon I'll need a bottle of water for the first part of the walk because I've got to climb that big hill. See that big hill in front? I've got to climb that in a minute. So I reckon I'm counting on one bottle of water to do that. Then I'll discard that one. And I've got a pint and a half and I should be able to fill up at the... Um, should be able to fill up at the it's a lovely view though isn't it lovely view over and out for a minute alright let's come back on again walk further along the promenade now it's all about the manor shelter it's called Apparently my hotel, the Rock Hotel, wasn't affected by the flood, I asked them. It was further over in that valley there and it didn't actually get to damage that hotel that I'm staying in, which is old. So, anyway, there we go. I walked all around there yesterday and climbed up the side and did a gentle nudge up. Uh, if I just zoom in to the top of the railway, I'm fitting in a lot because... I'm in here for a couple of days. There could be another lockdown. Who knows? There's a little thing. I might go on it tomorrow. I might go on it tomorrow. Tomorrow's my bits and pieces day here. This is the big day. I've had a breakfast. I'd scramble. I didn't have a huge breakfast. No, I didn't have a huge breakfast. I had a light breakfast. Scrambled eggs, yoghurt, orange juice, toast and scrambled egg. I didn't want a huge breakfast. I might have a huge one tomorrow. So, so there we go, folks. There's someone around the corner, so I'm just videoing here. It's just snippets of video that I'll put together. Over and out. Right, folks, another small video. It's just gone up the first part of the zigzag. The main road is up there. I don't know if it's the A39. It's one that goes to Porlock, I know that. And uh, that's just going by. Just met two very young American people. A young, very fit young man with huge muscles carrying the huge rucksack and the girl not. Uh, they said, well, I can encourage you on your way. You know, it was American. Bless them. I had to re-pack my bag. What it was, the load was too low down. So I've positioned it, everything higher. But what happens is that it starts to fall down inside the bag. I've also drunk a bit more water. The theory is you can, there are places to top up. Um, there's a church at Con Contesbury. God, I hope I'm going there. I want to go to that church. I hope so. But there's a sign. I might have to go down and then up again. I'm not sure yet. Right, so anyway. This is going to be zigzagging up and down. There might even be a bit of road we have to walk along. I'm not sure yet. But this is going to be like this all day, apparently. Up and down. So anyway, I've had... I made sure I had a dinner last night. I thought, no, make sure you have dinner, Sheila. You need, you need the calories. Have dinner. 
and have breakfast, but not a big breakfast. I didn't have a fry up, I just had yogurt, cereal, and scrambled egg. <sighs> Fruit juice and tea. Three cups of tea I've had, a glass of water, a glass of Lucas Aid. Just had a swig out my bottle. <sighs> There's two people, they'll be my markers. And I'll see them slowly disappear. They were, they're young and fit. They're a third of my age. So, if not younger. I love it when I see people my age doing this. It encourages me that we can do it. All you have to do... I brought my first aid kit. I brought warm clothes. Not loads. I took out the waterproof trousers. I thought you don't need them today. I'll take them out. I've got the first aid kit. I've got my jumper and I've got a, a windshield. It's also slightly waterproof. I've got all my camera equipment. I can't leave anything lying behind. I've had to bring it all with me. Just in case. I don't want to leave anything lying about like that. I've actually got me a dress book and I've got maps for today if I need them. Um, food. The food, which I won't want to eat for hours. So some people don't carry food, but I think if you broke your leg or something, at least you'd have nutriment and water for a day. And I got sweets, they keep me going for a night. Oranges, apple, chocolate. I've got a full size picnic, mate. And it might think, oh, why do you carry all that? Yeah, because I want, I want the comforts as well. The water will go. Once I get up here, I'll go down to two bottles and I'll carry them for the rest of the way. There's more opportunities in the valley there's more opportunities to top up than there is up at the first stretch. Right, here we go, look. Countersbury. Both head to Sillery Sands has closed and totally impossible. Southwest coast open as usual. Right, so we've left Lynmouth. And we now follow this route by the awful road for a short period of time. So I will video this section so that people are aware. I've had a few people laughing at me, you know, with my, when I had my rucksack full yesterday and it was really hot, but I couldn't get into the hotel. They might have let me in earlier. I got in at half one in the end. It was supposed to be two. But I actually arrived at twelve. So and it was very hot. So what I did was uh Yeah, I find blokes mainly laugh at you. And one even pretended he was gonna knock me over because I was so heavy loading. I was like the tortoise going up the hill. And one of them, and they all laughed. He didn't do it, of course, but he was made the action as if to push me over, because I would have fallen like a tor like a tortoise on my back. <sighs> so you do have to face things. Women get it all the time in everything. You know, it's like we don't seem to be able to do anything about people finding us amusing. I do find that really, they're not all men, not most, no. They don't they think we should be in the kitchen. They don't think we should be doing this. Let's go a little bit out. Getting these straps right is an art, you know. Getting these straps right, because I've just had breakfast. So I don't particularly want anything tight around my huge gut. My gut acts as a counterbalance, actually. 
It's a bit like the fulcrum, which is heavy. It's my gut on my pack. <laughs> I thought I'd leave my hair down for a little while, have some air. The hotel's all right. I slept well. I had to get up in the night like usual. Um, I was a bit cold, but I put there is a blanket there. It wasn't cold all night. It was hot in the beginning. Of course, stifling. I had to try and open the window. I couldn't breathe in there because I put in because of COVID. They're spraying everything. And with me, with my allergies, you see, I've got chemical allergies that aren't all recognised by the people that test you for allergy. A lot of it, they won't test you for it. They do grass. They do certain things. Dogs, cats. They don't seem to test you for many chemicals. But I know things are toxic. Whatever they're putting down to kill COVID could make the rest of us sick. So I had that window open. That's the first thing I did, is get that bloody window open. Oh, I'm glad I found me out, you know. Yesterday, I dropped it when I was over by the Valley of the Rocks. I dropped it. Didn't think I'd see it again. But as you can see, the sun is right in front of me. So very soon, I'm going to be getting it out. thing is, I always get breathless in the beginning. I always do. Water's, the water is weighing me down big time at the moment. But the thing is, I need the water. I need the water. Now, when I get to that set of trees up there, Those young people. Yeah, but they zoomed. <sighs> when I get to that shady area, I'm going to put my hat on. Because I'm coming out into an exposed area. Now you'll find some of my videos are short. Some are long. <sighs> but what I'm doing is joining them up. Right, this is a little stretch of road we've got to go on. I don't know how long for. With some brilliant views that I'll take of the foreland there. There's a lighthouse and everything. I get to the shade and then I'll... Uh, I've got to look out for the signs. What does that say? Get over here, show first. Get over here, girl. Oh, what a view, everyone. What a view, look. I've climbed up quite a way already. That goes to Wind Hill. That Wind Hill is where a famous battle took place in 800 so AD with the Vikings and the Saxons. Oh God, what was he called again, that Viking? Doda or Dodi or something. A big Viking leader. Or he could have been a Saxon leader, I can't remember now. But he, uh, there have been battles around here. A lot of these places are like suitable for defence. Anyway, here we've got the coastal path. Porlock, if I want to go there now, it's 12 and a half miles. I'm not going anywhere near Porlock today. Tomorrow, or no, next day, I'll be getting a taxi. There's no bus service. I'll be getting a taxi. It cost me £30. But I don't want to walk this twice, OK? I'm branching off anyway, at the county gate, to go and find Orr Church. I'm doing quite a big hike today. But I'm trying to 
illustrate it all. And there we've got a little seat, look, for someone to sit and have a cup of tea. <sighs> Absolutely beautiful. I've been blessed today with this weather. Blessed. We've had terrible weather this year. We've had really hot days for a couple of days. Then it goes windy as hell. Fish at Western. <sighs> this is still. This is beauty, everyone. Absolute beauty. Isn't it? Look, look at it. I'm going to be climbing somewhere over there anyway. I'm hoping to get to the church on the way. I don't really want to walk around the edge of such. I want to be able to get to the church. And then I'd like to go to the lighthouse and then down, back onto the track again. I mean, if I find it's too much, I will be sensible and turn off at Countersbury and go down to Watermeet. There is a, there is a lockout clause here. But really, I want to do County Gate. If not, that'll have to wait till when I can camp at Porlock. Maybe later in the year I might be able to get to Orr for the day. Might be able to. Can no, you imagine? I, I, people carry all their tent and equipment. Can you imagine if I had to bring all that and carry all that now? Impossible. Over and out, everyone. It's a great day.